Welcome back, boys, to their EAFC content review on the channel. I'm Slater, and in today's video, we have two brand new player SPCs that dropped today in this game, as well as a new um, squad foundation objective that we'll dive into as well. I'll talk about all these players, talk about what's good and bad value, whether you should or should not complete the SPCs, what chem style to use, everything you need to know about today's content we'll go through in today's video, as I always do. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Sub if you're new as well, greatly appreciated. Well, I shouldn't say if you're new to the channel, hit that like button, because then that would mean that if you're not new to the channel, don't hit that like button. Well, listen, if you like the video, like it, and if you don't, then don't, okay? I'm not gonna tell anybody what they need to do. Let's dive in to today's content. I'll chapter out the video, so if you wanna fast forward to a certain spot, you can do that too, and let's go in to the new content today. So we're gonna start with Muhammad Kadus, who I think is probably the big SBC of the day. No disrespect to Leroy Fair, who has kind of some cool cards historically in this game. But let's go in with Muhammad Kadu. Shout out to my boy Sam, big Hammer fan. Um, they look to be playing awesome football right now. They seem like a legitimate team that could really progress well in the Europa League. Um, and here he is, Muhammad Kadu, who typically has a really fun card um, that you can use. He used to be on Ajax. He had a lot of really like kind of interesting dynamic cards. I think he had a rule breaker last year alongside a team of the season card. He's medium lower grades, four star, three star. So not great you know medium low is never fun um and four star is good but three star is not ideal he is left footed with a right wing right mid and cam versatility which last year he could play center mid so that is a different positions on his card than he typically had in the past in terms of his actual card 96 balance 89 agility 90 dribbling he's got some really really nice um dribbling stats and he's got pretty decent physical stats like somewhat well-rounded there like i said he used to be able to play center mid so it's not surprising that his defending stats aren't that bad at the end of the day he'd probably be a really nice card to play like in a you know 4-4-2 or something where you have a, a right mid that maybe does get in behind a defense but also is willing to come back and help on defense he is he has medium low work rates but i'm just saying he would have the technical ability maybe to make a tackle and help you um in that setting and his passing's really bad. 70 vision, 80 short pass, 76 long pass. Not ideal um, at any point in the game, especially for a card like this. So I already know the chem style I want to use. Let's go talk about how you can upgrade this card. So if they win two remaining matches in the Europa League group stage, he gets a plus one. And if they qualify for the knockout stage, he gets a plus one again. So let's go check out... Um, let's go check out the Europa League groups. And let's go see how the... Um, the hammers are doing right let's go figure this out so if we pop over here to the europa league and we load up the new group setting we see that west ham have won their first game and they have a pretty easy group i would argue that they are significantly better in terms of talent than any other team now granted freiburg are a fun team like i said we talked about that on yesterday's video like they can definitely compete and potentially win this group over west ham but west ham don't need to win the group they just need to get out i will say olympiacos is typically somewhat of a decent team um, that can put up some fight. I have no idea who Tuya C. Baca Topala is, but that's a cool team name. You know, I think this is a pretty fair bet that you'd feel confident when you did this SBC that he's going to get a plus two, right? And he does have three play styles. He has uh, technical for ball control, flair, and first touch. So he's got a couple play styles. I would feel very good that he's going to end up with 94 pace, 79 shooting, 76 passing, 90 dribbling, and 80 physical. It's just going to take him a while to get those upgrades. As we know, um, a lot of these won't actually go fully into place, all of them to like December-ish time. So you just need to be cautious of the fact that like if you do this card, that your team might progress significantly um, from the time that you have him to the time that you actually maybe can get the best version of him um, down the road. He has two segments. He's an, ooh, ooh. I would probably not do that. Um, an eight. Let's go. Well, let me go see before I cast my final judgment here. I just want to go see what his like other card was and see how big of a boost it got. And then I'll tell you whether I not because I just uh, that's a lot of coin. That's a lot of coin, man. I, it's getting really upvoted. I don't think I agree with that. Now, let me go just see how he did get a big boost. I guess he got two more pace, three more shooting, three more passing, four more dribbling, four more defending, and three more physical. It is interesting that he got a plus five overall, but not a singular plus five on any of his actual stats in the game. And did he get like a is the weak foot skill move a boost at all or no? No, he was four three on his on his base, anyways. And you can Evo this card too as like relentless winger, right? Which I think costs like 50k. Is that what they're saying you can do? If you can relentless wing this card, which I'm not saying, I'm not sure that's what that's saying or not, but it's like, it does make you think about, you know, whether or not you should be investing into this. I just, I disagree with the community here on this. I don't feel like, you know, an upgraded Premier League card, you know, is a live card is definitely very valuable in its own right. So I don't want to say, but like, I feel like if I took 80,000 coins 
and I went on the transfer market with 80,000 coins. And I grant, this is not obviously always a like-to-like -like comparison. You might have 80K in fodder, but not 80K in terms of actual live um, coin value. Like, I don't, e I don't even know if I wouldn't take like a tradable Doku over him or, or get a great center back. I mean, look at Tamori and Araujo, right? Like, um, I, I just, I don't know if I align with the idea that he's an 80K card. In Kunku, like I would, I know in Kunku, or Diaby, like, or Diaby and him, all that different of cards, you know, Diaby right now, um, let's go do a comparison, I'm sorry I'm taking a while on this particular one card, but I'm a little bit, it's, I have to kind of justify if I'm so different from the community, I have to kind of justify why I feel that way, they're both 4-3, he's got 3 more pace, 4 less shooting, 1 more passing, 2 less dribbling, and obviously the physical stats are definitely way worse um, for Diaby, but he is also, you know, a live tradable card, and he's, 30,000 coins cheaper. I just, you know, in Kunku too, another card that I would look at and be like, man, I would rather have a Kunku on my team. They, they're different player types, don't get me wrong, but like, I feel like an Nkunku would make just as good of a difference on the pitch as an Akudus would, and then I could get rid of him if I didn't like him anymore. So in my opinion, I'm actually against the community there. I don't think that that is great value. I think that should be like an 180, that should be like maybe like a 40, 50K SBC. I have a feeling that a lot of people like, well, it's very easy to get good cards this year where I'd look at Mohamed Kudus and like, I could see someone getting this card done and then literally not using him in like eight to 10 days. I don't know. So that that's just where I net there in terms of Leroy fair years ago, I think years ago now, um, he had a really sweet, I want to say it was a, what if SBC SBC card there, there was a one year they did this promo called what if, which was a terrible name for a promo. Um, but it was like live upgraded cards too based on player performances and Leroy Fair when he was in the air Divisi at the time had a super cheap SBC that, like no one did and he ended up being a sweet card he got a bunch of upgrades and he looked sick um so medium high six foot two CDM center back center mid see now this is another card I think that like granted it he's I know he's a Dutch player in the Turkish leagues so, like it's gonna be tough to link this dude there's gonna be some foundations we're gonna dive into that this looks like a nice card crazy good physical the physical is so high um what is he he's medium high work at six foot two you know I think that that card looks a Great, like really well-rounded dribbling, really like great passing. I think that although his stats internally and because he, he plays in real life as a midfielder, in my opinion, that seems like a card that would be absolutely brilliant as a center back. I mean, really, really looks like he'd be a great center back card in my opinion. Um, and he got 30% upvote, 70% downvote. He's 17K. I think the community's... Now, granted, I think that they don't like the linkability, but Leroy Fair as a center back... With 81 pace, I mean, granted, those aren't the greatest defending stats. And, and he could definitely play CDM. I mean, I, like, like the passing is good enough. Um, he could definitely play CDM. He's just an 87 rate center back. I, I think that there's a chance that you would really... He got nine overall... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Hold on. I, that's with the chem style. Um, he got... No, he got nine overall pace, nine overall shooting, ten overall passing, ten overall dribbling, nine overall... I, I think this card has a lot of great value in the game. Um, if you're running, like, and listen, some people's teams are crazy right now, but like your team shouldn't be. We had the game for two weeks. Like this card, if you want this card for your team, I think it's totally reasonable. He's got the jockey play style. He's got block, which are very valuable if you know how to use those as a defender. Slide tackle and aerial. I I, I like that card a lot. I think Leroy Fair is a home run card. Um, he's got to be what like an 84 rated team, an 84 rated team with 186. Now, granted, the 186 does suck to add to this, but. Uh, I see tremendous value. Like, I feel like you could maybe get both cards done and they would both play the same amount of time for you. He's just hard to link. He's just hard to link. And if that's your problem, then I totally understand why you pass on it. But in terms of his like actual card, I see a, I see a guy there. I see a guy that I could, you know, enjoy using in this game. We also have a brand new, although it's, where'd it go? Where's the Turkish league one? There's literally a Turkish league. Where is it? Where are you, bro? I know there is. So wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um. Well, that's kind of weird. Okay, let's go over to Footpin then. That's kind of funky. There's literally a new objective, and I'll prove it to you. Here, well, I mean, I don't know where the heck it is. I think they're having a lot of. I think they're having a lot of issues with their menus this year. Um, if you go down here, squad foundations, trend deal, super league, right? So this is supposed to be something you should be seeing. Of course, they don't have the access to, I can't tell you what is happening in the game. Um, I can't dive into all the cards that are affiliated with this. I'm going to go back on my screen really quick. Hold on. 
Make sure it didn't miss it. No, it's not there. It's just not there. There is gonna be at some point. <laughs> I you gotta take me for my word. Take me take me and Footpin for our words. There's going to be at some point a um Turkish League Foundation. And it looks like at the very minimum we know that there's gonna be these three. So here are the cards. At least we can if we can do this, we'll we basically get to know everything. So I'm assuming the group award is Miroslav Orcic, who's typically a pretty like famous player in FIFA, some fun cards. And I'm going to keep saying FIFA, I don't care. Three star, four star. That's kind of lame that he doesn't have four four. Um, really nice dribbling stats outside of his actual dribbling stats. Oh, I got to do chem styles for some of the players. Let me go back on Kudus and, and give you a chem style for him um, in case you do complete that SBC. Because um, you don't have to take my word for Bible, right? I'm just giving you my opinion. If you want Kudus, go get, it's a video game, right? Have fun. Um, this card looks average. Looks average. Um, probably would play him at striker and i would probably give him a hunter um if i did the turkish league foundations um just makes him a lot more well-rounded and he's just not a great card regardless which sucks because orsic typically has some really good cards in this game then we have samu saiz he looks good for three i can't make anybody for four for three um five nine high medium horrible composure but really nice agility and balance should feel really fun on the ball Okay, shooting stats. Not great passing for a guy that is a cam. Good stamina, though, good strength. I think with a good with the right chem style, he might be the most valuable card of that squad foundation group. We're gonna check out the center back here in a second, but I kind of like this card as potentially a somewhat usable option. I would give him uh probably a dead eye. Honestly, you know, make the shooting that like fantastic, right? And then really help out with the passing stats. Um, another option that I always love, you guys hear about me talk about a lot as a maestro, makes him a little bit more well-rounded, especially in long passing, gives him that shot power, which overcompensates here, and then boosts his dribbling and reactions, which makes him like a really nice little dribbler with the ball, um, in attack. So I don't mind that card as a can. I think he's got a little bit of ability in him. I see something in that guy. And then we have Chekering, who is four-star weak foot, controlled lengthy, solid pace, great dribbling for a center back. Another card that, I mean, 68 stamina is not, to, doesn't matter a whole lot for a center back, but it could potentially at some points in a game. 94 aggression is nice. Um, that card's good too. I actually think like him and Leroy Fair together would be a pretty decent little center back pairing um, at the end of the day. And if you put a shadow on him, he looks kind of sweet. Um, he looks like a very usable, he's an 88 rated center back. So that's a card as well. So there's all the content today. Um, oh, like I said, hold on. I almost forgot for like the 12th time, dude. What am I even doing? Um, let me go here. And let me go here. And here we go. So Kudus, if if I was going to use Kudus um, and wanted him in my team, because I think his reactions are so low that they need to be boosted. As you guys said, like on the last one, Maestro, right? Maestro for me is the way to go. I think that the 89 shot power will definitely over, like, will help you a little bit here. His positioning isn't great, don't get me wrong, but it makes him at least able to pass the ball. Like, he's passing sucked before, so he's now able to pass the ball. He's got a nice shot power, so he can probably finish a little bit. And then more importantly, 84 reactions and 98 dribbling makes him a lot more fun to use on the wing. So there you go. A little bit longer of a view than I kind of anticipated, if I'm being honest, but it is what it is. You know, you got to review with the content that's out. If you guys enjoyed the video, as always, save this long, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate it. Live later today on Twitch with a pack opening for our, this is my second account, so I won't be here um, for the road to the, final, road to the knockouts. Um, so we'll be live a little bit later, chasing some big boy cards. Hope to see you there. Slater, you see on Twitch in the description below. Have a great rest of your day and peace.